Myasthenia gravis is a uh, autoimmune disease where autoantibodies attack um, the neuromuscular junction uh, between the uh, nerve, the end of the nerve synapse and the, the postsynaptic membrane. So as a result of that, there's weakness. So what happens in myasthenia gravis is there, are, like I said, autoantibodies attack the, the motor neuron end plate. And it makes it very difficult for the muscle to contract. As a result, there's muscle weakness. And this can be uh, shown early on in the disease by ptosis or uh, eye droop, weakening of eyesight. 80% uh, of those patients with ocular myasthenia gravis as a first symptom progress into generalized myasthenia gravis, which is uh, more pronounced and has a greater, uh, uh, a greater overview of um, different uh, muscular involvement. Uh, you can have pseudobulbar impact, swallowing, speech, as well as, <clears throat> excuse me, breathing concerns, which is obviously top of mind in about 20% of patients uh, with myasthenia gravis, they will experience one myasthenic crisis in their lifetime, at least one. Uh, and this requires mechanical ventilation and other interventions. So it's a very serious disease. In addition to the very, very extreme, there's a huge impact on daily life. Weakness uh, changes many, many different things from the ability to walk up a flight of stairs uh, to social interactions, obviously, work impact and the disease uh, impacts everybody differently. And one of the problems with myasthenia gravis among the many problems is that it is very, it changes sometimes hour to hour. So you could start your morning and say, okay, I'm gonna go to the store. I'm gonna meet a friend for lunch. I'm gonna do this. And then all of a sudden you're weak. You didn't know what was coming on. And you know, really it's difficult to run your life. It's difficult to be the person you are because you don't know what's gonna happen minute to minute, an hour to hour and day to day.